What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I am in the middle of wedding season bookings. <laughs> so not wedding season itself, but I'm trying a couple things different here. I made a video recently about wedding fairs, bridal fairs, and um, I've been talking to a lot of other vendors about it. And the biggest thing that they're saying that I'm trying to figure out as well is, is the cost of a bridal fair or a wedding fair worth it in the end? And we're gonna chat about that right now. What's going on guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you anyway, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. It'll just tell you every time I come on. So guys, uh, you're in the wedding game and it's kind of tradition now, right? It's kind of known that there are expos and bridal fairs and everything that's happening within our area. Uh, within the Reno area, there's a few. We have Reno Tahoe. And I have been known to always say, I have never had to do a bridal fair. I am actually proud to say that. All my referrals come from other vendors, photographers, wives, brides, husbands, friends, family, and everybody gets to me in some way or another. And I've never actually had to spend the money to do a fair in order to get the 35 weddings that I want or make the money that I want for the year. Well, this year, I feel like I'm 12 years in, uh, 12 years in now, I'm 36 years old, and I wanna stay relevant because a lot of the newcomers are coming in, the new kids are coming in, and uh, we're not really competing on the photography side of it, but I'm competing on the pricing side of it. I've significant, significantly raised my rates. I'm at 4,000 to 5,500 on average for a wedding. And the mean around here, I wanna say is about $2,000, especially with the newer ones coming in, the 18 to 22 year old photographers who are coming in who are buying a camera and not understanding how much to charge. This is really kind of not really taking a toll on the business side of it, but it's taking a toll on the creative photography side of it. And it's making it a lot harder just to snap book those clients. I'm seeing it, everybody's seeing it, and that's not really a bad thing. It just means that I have to work a little bit harder to book my clients. Now, even at my price point of 4,000 to 5,500, it doesn't mean that I'm booking those quickly. Even with my reputation and what I'm doing and what I'm showing, I still have to work to book all clients. I have to meet with them, I have to chat with them, and I wanna make sure that I'm booking quality clients. So this year, after joining a couple wedding organizations, I am with Northern Nevada Bridal Association and Weddings of the West. I have decided to do two bridal shows this year. So I'm doing one in February in about a month from now and one in Tahoe about three months from now. And I'm very excited to do it, but I'm also very nervous about the pricing. So I will tell you that I'm spending about $600 on each, um, which isn't too much for me. And then on top of that, I have to spend a couple things at the beginning because we're gonna talk about the price value of this. So about $600 to start just to sign up and join. Usually what you do is you get a little space that they have, whether it's a booth or a table, however they have it set up. And then you have to start investing in a few things. For me, it's prints, canvases. Um, I have to invest in a tablecloth. I have to invest in some swag, some giveaway, some candy, some stuff and maybe donating um, a, uh, or gifting out a engagement session. So that's stuff that I think I have to spend on it. So on average, I think I'm gonna be spending about 1,000 to 1,200. So I would say about doubling the price of every um, thing that you set. And if you set up a bigger tent or a bigger booth and in the back, then you're gonna be spending even more than that. So whatever, right? Everybody spends a different price. Everything's different for everybody, depending on the, uh, the bridal fair that you do. But is the cost worth it? So you guys have already mentioned I start at 4,000. For me, it's not really about booking the clients there. I never know where my next client's coming from, but if I can get my name, Jeremy Lou Photography, ingrained into thousands of people in one day, it's not only making me money in like a couple weeks from now if I even book one, but it's making me money throughout the years. Because what happens is when my name, my logo, my brand pops up and photographer pops up, hopefully there's a mesh of words that kind of come together and people realize it. So ultimately in the end, I believe it's totally worth it. I mean, I shoot events for free a couple times a year, donate my time, whether it's to nonprofits or just a friend or something, and my name gets pushed out. And there's so many times in those events where I'm actually with my camera shooting where people will stop me and say, oh, you're Jeremy? What's your last name? Lou? Jeremy Lou Photography? Or yes, uh, I found you at an event. I saw you shooting one time. I'd love to book you for our wedding or whatever. You never know where your client base is. So I feel like 
the $600 for me to sign up for this is going to be well worth it. In fact, I was kind of thinking about my max price for this. I, I anticipate booking at least, let's say one wedding. Let's say one wedding. I book one wedding from this whole thing and that's all I ever book. I would say I would want to make a little bit of profit from there. So the most I would spend for one fair and, and let's say a day would be $3,000. Now with that $3,000, I would want like a lot more stuff than a table and a booth, but that's my max. And that's kind of how my brain thinks. Like what would the max go? This is only 600. You're willing to spend 3000, maybe take that other uh, 2,400 and throw it towards something else. And that's what the time value works for me. Now, photographers, officiants, venues, everybody has a different price point and um, it's the same price paying into whatever you are. So you have to kind of negate that and figure it out as well. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited for this and I'm excited now. We'll update you guys on how it goes, on if I booked anything and if I'm crazy. Um, you know, so I've never done it and I've always had the negative thought of going I don't want to book people on the spot. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, discount my pricing or anything. And I'm still not going to do that. So I'm just going to go in as me, my pricing, book me, um, and we'll see what happens. But is the price worth it? It's up to you. For me, totally worth it. Uh, totally worth it. That's how we advertise. I'd rather spend $600 advertising this way than throwing my money away on Yelp or Wedding Wire than not and not knowing where my leads actually go. And then Thumbtack will, Thumbtack can suck it. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have comments, let me know. If you've done bridal fairs, do you have any tips and tricks for me? Let me know. I'd love to have them. Um, I'm going to go in blind. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.